The Warriors and Celtics are headlining the 2022 NBA Finals. These are two historic franchises that have been part of the NBA since its inception, a shared 150 years worth of history between them. But their paths have rarely crossed, instead forming captivating and nail-biting rivalries against other teams in the opposite conference. But once upon a time, the rivalry between the Celtics and Warriors lured NBA fans. But now, no one knows about it. It is simply a rivalry that has been buried with time. And we have to go back 50 plus years to see their last meetup in the finals. It's 1964. The Beatles are big, Cassius Clay won the World Heavyweight title, and the Chamberlain-Russell rivalry is alive and well. It's in fact on the center stage for the whole basketball world to see. As of right now, we are in the dire moments of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. The Celtics up by 2 and leading the series 3-1. to one. A bucket here will surely put the game away and crown the Celtics champions giving Bill Russell his 7th ring in 8 years. If that happens, the people, the media, the players will all start to say that this rivalry isn't much of a rivalry at all, and that Russell is the undeniable GOAT. <laughs> Here's Wilt Chamberlain. He does not want this to happen. Wilt, up until this point of his career, still doesn't have a ring. Yes, he has the MVP, he has the absurd numbers, he has the all-star selections, but he's starting to get labeled as a loser, an individual who puts up empty numbers when it counts most, a stat stuffer. See, Wilt has already heard all the criticism when it comes to his biggest foe. This isn't the first time these two have met in the playoffs. In 1960, when the Warriors played in Philadelphia under the name the Philadelphia Warriors, they met Russell and the Celtics in the Eastern Division Finals. At the time, Wilt was the fresh face of the league, the MVP, the individual touted to put Russell in his place. It was a highly anticipated series, and this series went the distance. But in the win or go home game, in game 6, Wilt, for Wilt's standards, didn't show up, taking more of a backseat role to his teammates. The Celtics ended up winning by 2 points and went on to win the championship. Russell though had the weaker numbers in the series, but was seen as a better player. Then the 1962 season rolled along, and the Philadelphia Warriors meet the Boston Celtics again in the Eastern Division Finals. This is a famous season in which Wilt averaged 50 and 25, absolutely steamrolling the competition. But he didn't win the MVP. No, that belonged to Bill Russell, who people viewed as the best center in the league. So you know, the hype around the series was like nothing else. It was back and forth, each trading wins at home, and pushing the series to an all-deciding Game 7. Wilt and Russell were both having monster series, but it was Wilt who was winning the matchup between the two. But in the all-deciding Game 7, history repeated itself. Wilt played below expectation and took a backseat to his teammates, and the Warriors lost again by just 2 points. A distinct pattern was clearly here. Wilt wins a battle, but loses the war. So now, we're here. Two years since they last met at the playoffs. Things are a little bit different now. As you may have noticed, this is the NBA Finals, not the Eastern Division Finals they met so in their two previous contests. This is thanks to Frank Muley. He purchased majority share of the team and relocated the franchise to the San Francisco Bay Area, renaming them the San Francisco Warriors. This is their first season under this name, and they're in the NBA Finals, so the fans of the Bay can't complain. Wilt these finals has been putting up big numbers, but also been containing Russell. He's barely averaging 10 points coming into this contest. The Warriors though are still down 3-1, largely in part to the Celtics' deep roster. They've been spectacular, really picking up the scoring load and allowing Russell to focus more on the defensive end. So we're here now, the dire seconds of Game 5. The struggling Russell is here. Tonight has been by far his best game of the series. Wilt is here, and it's not like their previous matchup. He has showed up. 
it's Boston Ball in this do or die game. They score here, it's over for the Warriors title hope. And the same story will be written again. Wilt wins a battle, Russell wins a war. If they miss though, the Warriors have a sliver of hope to turn and push the series in their favor. Let's see what happens. A dunk that essentially captures the Wilt Russell experience in Chamberlain's Warriors day. He'd shortly be traded after this and the Wilt Russell rivalry continued. But for the Warriors and Celtics, these two teams never crossed paths in the playoffs again. Well, till now, 58 years later. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off. I should probably mention the Celtics and Warriors played one time before the Wilt and Russell era. And the Celtics also won that one. Hope y'all have a good day.